Hey, do what great beaches, a cozy old town, delicious food, and the biggest castle in the world. Yeah? Let me take you to Gdansk! We're in Gdansk. Kinda. Apple. Soon Gdansk. First impressions of Poland? Weather is nice. Weather is nice. <laughs> Kinda summer. <laughs> oh, it's a bit too cold for me. One euro per person to get from the airport into town. I would say that's the cheapest I've ever had. Yeah. See you in town. Okay. But it is 25. We have locked our luggage away. Uh, it, was really it was really tricky. Uh, we had to hunt for uh, money, coins. We had to resort to using urine at ATM and, oh. and buying a moldy donut, <laughs> which was still tasty. But now we're ready to explore Gdansk. This looks very pretty. <laughs> Crazy. Water. Towers. Medieval style buildings. Well, not behind me so much, but. No, not at all. But <laughs> here. That's really pretty. Who would have known? So crazy. I've had a. Like, my entire life, almost. There's been like two euro flights from my hometown here and I have never gone here. Yeah, the airport in Gdansk is kind of based for both Ryanair and Wissair, so you can fly there for just a few euros from pretty much anywhere in Europe. That is quite weird. That is quite weird. Because look at this. This is cozy. It's really pretty here. Pretty little flower store. But I need a coffee. Or I can think about flowers. No. Let's find a cozy, cozy place for coffee. Update on our coffee hunt. Still have not found coffee. Um, yeah, end of update. I would like to sit in the sun. I have very high demands. This is a fancy house. Found our coffee. Oh. I think I can't live without my nice coffee in the morning. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> nice. Better than Starbucks? I would say so, yeah. Also, I love coats here. Houses like this. Oh, look at this church. That is a big church. This is a really big church. Just come out from buying sunscreen and see the church and everything from here. And it's just. Oh, I'm mostly looking at this building. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I mean, like, everything is just. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. There's so many coastal places around right here, it's crazy. Just walking around, suddenly coastal again. Everywhere you turn, it's just pretty. Again, again, and again. It's really pretty. Ah, this is the famous fountain. I was allowed to pee before. Yeah. I think also a part is actually the the road around it. Because look at this. The fountain sure is pretty, but the buildings, man. What is this place? Why have I never been here before? This city is more impressive than Prague because That's... of all those houses. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, it is actually crazy how pretty it is. I did not expect I did not expect it to be this pretty. No. If I'm gonna be completely honest. 
Look at the paintings on the walls. It's like... Anyway, after walking around, being surprised for a while, we got hungry. And that meant it was time to try some Polish food. Are we running? Is the camera rolling? Oh, it is. <laughs> we're back at our food tour. We're back at our food tour. <laughs> so we're gonna try some some Polish food today. We're at the dumpling place because apparently they like dumplings in Poland. Uh, but this is a soup. This is not dumplings, it's a soup. It's a sour sour rye rye flowers. <laughs> Two kinds of sausage, fried bacon, potatoes, and a hint of horseradish. Just try it. Let's try it. It looks like a mafia. quite tasty. Yeah? It is sour rye flour <laughs> soup with two It just does taste exactly like the description actually. Can you taste the horse right? Yeah, but just a little hint. <laughs> That's really tasty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at this! <laughs> Because someone is excited. So what what did you get there? I got I think mushroom. What is it? I don't remember. Cabbage and braised mushrooms. Ah. And I got the hand minced beef and pork, served with white onion and fried bacon. Looks tasty to me. And here's some uh, mushroom sauce. It shows how it's done. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'll just pour it up. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Even better. Nice. Which one did you get again? <laughs> I got the hand minced beef and pork. Yeah. Let's try with some, some mushrooms. Yeah. Not sure what's up there. <laughs> <coughs> I shouldn't have whispered. The camera can't hear them. No. It's quite loud. Mm. <laughs> the good mushroom sauce? sauce is really good as well. Well, I think I'm gonna enjoy this lunch. <laughs> so as you can see, the texture is a bit. Funky, not what I expected. And it's a bit like tuna. Yeah, a bit like tuna, but meat. It's really good. I like it. But it's a bit weird. It's tasty. I'm full. So full. So, are you happy? Full and tired. Full, happy and tired. Yeah. Me too. This was not a smart dish for lunch. No, not after a night of Maryland sleep. The flight we took this morning was like, I don't know, when they would get up? 20 past 4? Yeah. Yeah. 20 past 4, yeah. I didn't sleep except for like two hours or something. So this was quite heavy, and I do feel myself <sighs> falling asleep right now. What can I say? And after that huge meal of dumplings, it was time for us to pick up our luggage from the storage and head to our apartment that was now ready for check-in. And of course we fell asleep. Good morning. <laughs> Still the same day. Just a few hours later, we got to our apartment and we fell asleep. I really needed a nap. But honestly, we didn't really do more that day. We just went for an evening walk, so let's jump to the next morning. Hey, who are you? Who are you? What do you want of me? What? No! 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 
joke. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Sorry for tricking. Yeah. Thought it was funny, but actually it's not funny. I actually got quite scared doing it. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Started imagining, you know, if if you were really someone mean. No. No, it was just me. Oh. It was just me all along. Mm -hmm. Why is this elevator so dark? Oh right. There's no light here. <laughs> Welcome to Poland, everyone. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Can you turn it on? No. <laughs> uh, hey, yeah. Hey, look at it. No. Wow, cool. That's a lot for coffee. I like coffee. Second day in the dance. It's gonna be a great day today. Oh, it's gonna be Oh, I can feel it already. I, I, I. So, today we have a full pack schedule. We're gonna start with having coffee and a croissant. And then we might go for lunch. Uh, <laughs> look around a bit. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see where the day takes us. And well, just like I said, we started today with some coffee and a croissant. This one is good. No? Yeah, I like that. Better than yesterday? It would taste even better than yesterday. Yeah. Good spot. Have breakfast. And after our breakfast, we walked around the beautiful old town for a while. That's not good. Yeah, true. We never walked in this direction. <laughs> Does your house sitting home look like this? I don't think so. I don't think so. How old tower? What the fuck? Actually, yeah. This Max Burgers? Do you want to go and have a Max burger? No, I have to wait for Sweden. Yeah. You? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not in Poland, I have Swedish burgers. I thought it can't be true. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty wild, huh? Oh, look here, I can lock you up. I can lock you up here. Why would you lock me up here? Well, because I can. Ten seconds later. Finally. Johannes standing where he belongs, locked up. Mm -hmm. He was stopping me from going to Max, but I think I really want to go to Max, so I thought, well, I'll just lock him up. So, see you later, huh? I'll go have Max. She let me out now. <laughs> After I had Max, of course. What? Are you angry? That I brought was mean. That I, was mean. But I brought you a Max burger. I brought you your favorite with yeah. vanilla sauce, yeah? yeah. <laughs> no, didn't. I also didn't go to Max actually. That one is not gonna fit through through here. Okay, let's let's hurry as so we catch it. It's a big sailing boat, you know. Sailing and it's not gonna make it under this bridge. That I am pretty sure about. It's gonna be an epic fail. <laughs> Look, it's way too big, like, already see it, you know? It's like... <laughs> so pretty here. It really is. It really is pretty. It's absolutely crazy how pretty it is. You look over here. This view along the water. This is a boat. It's a ship. Gdansk. Oh, wow. Pretty 
good life, huh? Pretty good life. I would say. I have no complaints right now. We're sitting here drinking our second coffee of the day. Um, with the view of the Caruso. Yeah. The Caruso. You see the Caruso over there? But after looking at the Caruso for a while, it was time to get some lunch. So this is a juniper. Juniper soda. Uh -huh. This is juniper with oh. hops. That's pretty tasty. Yeah. Surprisingly good. Soda. Tastes like candy. Yeah. We're not doing much this day. <laughs> what a surprise. Walking a little bit, having a coffee, walking a bit more, having another coffee, sitting down, laying down. Now we're sitting down for some fusion hot dogs. Mm hmm. We'll see how that is. Yeah, I've never had a fusion hot dog before, no. so... <laughs> oh, wow, you have onion in there. This looks... Which one did you, did you go for? Polish boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're completely in the sauce. <laughs> the cheese is not sauce. Oh! Mm. Mm. This is... One of the bigger hot dogs I've had. <laughs> it's true. That is uh, that explains the price. The sausage itself is really tasty. <laughs> mm. Good. All right, you have fries in yours. Yep. <laughs> Good. Fries and coleslaw and. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is the wildest hot dog ever you've ever eaten, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're a food blogger, actually. I am. Mm. Let's see. That's my favorite thing. Mm. Good. What a carrot? Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm. It's like. Marinated carrot with mm -hmm. kimchi mm -hmm. and pineapple. And pineapple. Mm -hmm. Wild. It is really wild, but it gives me exactly like the Asian food I wanted. Perfect. We both win. <laughs> Can I try? Let's see how you what Johanna says to the vegetarian option. Mm -hmm. It is actually really good. It's better than expected. Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> what a beast. Let's go to the beach. Beach, beach, let's go to the beach. That's as much as I can sing, otherwise I'm gonna get copyright claimed. Yes, we were after all next to the Polish Riviera. The weather was nice, so we got on a tram to Przesno. Welcome to the Polish Riviera. I like it. Really pretty actually. Miles upon miles of beach. That's how I feel. That's getting my shoes wet. Ooh, it's, it's a bit fresh. A little bit. A little bit fresh. I think I can work with it. Let's just lay down here. Okay. Thank you. Ah, nice. It looks really, really pretty, actually. But well, I can really imagine that this is really nice in the summer. Except for the fact that the water is probably cold in the summer as well, because it is the Baltic Sea after all. Feet in the sand. So, I'm thinking, the only way for me to get into the water is by sitting here fully dressed for a while, getting a bit warm in the sun, then change quickly and just run like a maniac into the water. You're gonna have a nap, huh? <laughs> 
I think you will. Do you think it just lays around on the beach? Yeah, perhaps. I don't know, I don't know. What is a shore on the beaches, you know? Yeah, this is probably not the best beach for it, but it's just a lot of people. I think this is. Was a dead insect. Here. Are you showing me a dead insect? That doesn't look like amber at all. Take that away from me. It's so. 20 degrees. It's <laughs> less than 10 degrees in the water. <laughs> He's really gonna do it. Ooh, that's a slow one. Oh, that's a slow one. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Again! Again! What are you doing? This is not Baywatch. This is not Baywatch. <laughs> oh, I like it too. Ooh. Yeah, it's gotta wake him up. Uh, and I wanted to nap. Now he will just look for amber everywhere. Yeah. Can I swim in it? Oh, the wind is helping you, huh? The wind is really helping you. How cold is it? You know the feeling when your neck breaks when you get into the water? No. Where it really hurts your neck. Oh god, no. Your head. I don't know that feeling. I never do stuff like this. <laughs> That's nice. Oh man, yeah, as you can see, the Polish Riviera is really beautiful. Water is nice, fresh, refreshing, in the hot sun. Yeah, I recommend. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Nice. A bit over my way. Oh god, that's so good. It's almost right now over the bird. That's not too happy. <laughs> this is the only time I see him running. I've never seen you run this much. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I, I can... I get that. Yeah, I recommend. I'm not gonna do it. He's a coward! He's a coward! He's right. I just don't have to do that for my self-esteem, see? He couldn't sleep if he wouldn't do this. He would feel bad. Now he's gonna come back and tell me that he found the amber. I'm not sure. This might be amber. I told you. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> it's kind of see-through. I've heard that it's not super clear always. I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep this. This yeah. is my piece of amber. Yeah. Gonna heal you of all your pain. I think it's working. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it really wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> it's really not warm. Look at me. I'm laying here in my big foot. It's probably like 20 degrees here. The wind is maybe 15. The water is maybe. Look, oh, see. The water is maybe 10, 8. I don't know. Not even the dogs want to want to, want to go in. It really wants. Nah. Nah. <laughs> now let's enjoy the beach. But eventually it actually got a bit cold, so we headed back to get some dinner. It's time. It's time. So it's not strong enough for me anymore. Nope. Getting 
Mm -hmm. chilly. We're back here. Soup time again. <laughs> They're recording in my pocket. I have no battery left, so cheers. <laughs> Yeah. So we're trying out her earplugs. Active noise cancelling. Um, does it work well? It does work pretty well. It's really yeah. loud in here and it's really helping me. Crazy. Oh well. Cabbage and mushroom. Sour cream. Tasty. What are you going for again? Soy protein, pickles. What else was it? I don't remember. Red onion. Onion. Mayonnaise. Ketchup. Tasty. Exciting. Right? No. Yeah. Actually, pretty good. <laughs> Surprise. Well, I'm a bit more traditional, so I go for cabbage and sour cream. Yeah. Also very tasty, just want to say that. Yeah. Five minutes later. We did it again. I'm pretty sure that's on camera, but... But four hours ago we were like, no, nah, we've had enough dumplings. No more dumplings, you know. We had enough dumplings again. Maybe tomorrow again. Maybe tomorrow again. Those ones were delicious. Oh my god. And so ended our second day in Gdansk. Does look pretty nice. Another morning, another breakfast. <laughs> Coffee and croissant. Yeah. This day was time for a day trip. Remember I said something about the biggest castle in the world at the start of this video? Well, we were going there. It's not located in Gdansk, however, so we headed to the train station. Uh, platform one. This is four. Then we'll go down. Go down, down, down here. What? Next half an hour, we can sit here. Yeah. 28.6. Slopty? That is 5 euro? No, 6 euro. Yeah, but for both of us. Yeah. 3 euro per person. That's fine. And so we were on our way. The place we were going to is called Malborg. And after about an hour on the train, we had arrived in Malborg. So. Here, because we want to visit the great coal mine. <laughs> oh yeah, they also have the biggest castle in the world here, but we're here for the coal mine. No. No. We're here for the castle. Apparently. Do you even know where we have to go, by the way? No! I'm just walking in the general direction of the castle. Over there. Right over there. What's there? It's a castle. That is a castle. It is a castle. It's the biggest. It's the biggest castle in the it world. It's not that big, actually. Not from here. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is more, more to it. I think there might be. I hope so. I hope so too. Like what, 16 euro to go in. Oh, I think so. Are we sponsored yet? Not yet. <sighs> That's why you have to like and subscribe. Please, I don't want to pay for it. Please rewatch this video when you're done. A few times. Get the watch time up. No, don't do that. Nah. Watch another of our videos instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's more interesting, definitely. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had an audio guide in my life. Me neither, but they were included in the ticket price. And not an option not to buy them. Oh, this is not fitting at all. Look. Oh god. 
Well, we're at the castle and now we're gonna learn everything. The Saudi guide is like three hours. Let's see. Is yours also standing so weird? I can't see anything here. Let's see. I'm looking at the largest brick castle in the world. Well. This is the high castle. It's easy to recognize by its tall tower. And that's a church. Stop. Statue over there. It's eight meters tall. That is crazy. Yeah. Looks so, so good. <laughs> they look good. You look I mean, like an idiot. That's that. Used to be a lake here. Right here. So this place was built like in the 1200s. And then built more and more. Crazy. This is actually a good audio guide. No joke. I wish you could hear it. I guess you'll have to go here. This is the main entrance to the castle. Okay, so this castle was built in the 13th century by the Teutonic Order, who kept it until 1457 when it was sold to Poland. <laughs> Look at how massive this is. During the 30 years war it was occupied by Sweden and then back to Polish control again. 1772 Poland got eaten up by its neighbors and it was then in German control until 1945 when it once again got under Polish control. After World War II the castle was in ruins but it was carefully restored and well, it is impressive to say the least. What do you say? It's really cool. It's really cool. This was called Prague Castle. Are you joking? Definitely this. Yeah. It's really good. I never expected an audio guide to be good. No, this like, is especially like the recordings. Yeah, it's like it's... the person's standing next to you, and it's yeah, it's so you back high back quality. In time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the audio production is amazing. We really have our own castle for ourselves right now. It's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever had that. I bet. Most of you watching this have never even heard about this castle. It's so crazy that there's no one here. I can't believe it. Yeah, it was actually quite crazy to have the biggest castle in the world almost for ourselves. It is also so well restored and well taken care of that it's hard not to be constantly impressed. And with the actually extremely well made audio guide telling you the story of this place, I have nothing negative to say about our visit at all. How would you rate your visit? Oh. It was good. That's a good review for, from German. <laughs> it's like, it means five out of five, Anna. Quite cool. Yeah, this was probably the coolest and best castle visits I've actually had. Yeah. And I have visited quite a few castles, so. Oh yeah, me too. So, that's actually a really good review. <laughs> Okay, so, so we entered 14, 1430 something, yeah. and now it's almost 6. That was the short tour, it's supposed to be one and a half to two hours. Yeah, yeah it's almost <laughs> three and a half. That is quite wild. It's wild. I'm tired. Me too. Let's go have some dumplings. <laughs> We're back at our favorite dumpling spot. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some kapot. Yeah, it's tasty. It's kind of what we would call just Lansat in Swedish. We kind of drink this in Sweden as well. Like, we just take all the berries you have from your garden and boil it together into a syrup. I like it. it. Tastes like home. Today we're going wild with crayfish dumplings <laughs> with horseradish sauce and sauerkraut. Yeah. But man, it's not crazy. And 
works so well with the sauce. That's wild. That's wild. That's a weird sauerkraut. I recommend that. That wins. That's the best dumpling. They won. That's just so freaking good. That's so freaking good. But it's over now. What do you say about our little trip to Gdansk? Yeah, so far it has been really nice. The city is really treating us good, I would say. I really think so too. Yeah. I am really happy. Yeah. I really um, like this city. I wouldn't mind coming back. No, absolutely not. This is a very underrated city, I would say. Yeah, I really don't think really is. Why does everyone go to Prague? I don't know. Like, yes, Prague is cool, but... Prague is Pretty. We really liked Prague. I mean, you can watch our Prague video. I, <laughs> we really liked it, but this kind of offers the same things, but smaller, smaller and, and nice. more relaxed and cozier, cheaper as well. It's just crazy pretty. Yeah, it really is. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us to Gdansk. Yeah, I don't know how to do outros in videos like this. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna make an outro like this instead. Gdansk was an amazing town. It's pretty, full of history, tasty food, I highly recommend a visit to the dumpling restaurants we went to every day, and a lot more bang for your buck than you'd get in Western Europe. This video is a bit slower and with less editing than others I've made, and it is on purpose. A little experiment, if you will. Let me know what you think, if it gets too slow like this, or if it's better than my normal pace. Anyway, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed our little tour of Gdansk and I hope you want to join us on more adventures. Until next time, ciao! Look, it's your favorite thing. Here. The castle.